Yo, what's good out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm actually going to be going over an extension to the solo money glitch. This is a solo method to ensure the lifeguard blazer as well as clean dirty dupes. Alright, these are two very, very unique glitches. Uh, it's always a two-in-one package with these. You can't get one without the other. And uh, yeah, we very rarely get this type of glitch, so I definitely recommend, even if you're not going to take part in it, at least watch it and, you know, learn something because this is very rare. I've only seen it happen a couple other times. But uh, yeah, shout out to all the founders. They will be down in the description. And uh, we're going to go ahead and actually get into this video right now. So this is me outside of my nightclub. Now, the first thing we're going to do is clean dirty dupes. Uh, to do this, you need a nightclub and obviously a car with dirty dupe or dirty plates. And I'm going to show you pretty much what I mean right here, okay? So this is what it is. Now, dirty dupes, for those of you that don't know, what a dirty dupe is, say you have a car, a dupe, with this generic plate, 84 mc uh, O. all right? And say you look at this other car and it would have the same plate, you know, 83 mco if both those cars had the same generic plate, or 84 MCO, sorry. If both those cars had the same generic plate, those would both be dirty dupes. You cannot have two cars with the same generic number plate, okay? Two custom plates is okay. You see, I have a Far Crew plate. If I wanted to put, say, another Far Crew plate or another glitching plate on another car, that's okay. Those are custom plates. It's these you got to worry about, all right? It's the ones that have the generic number plates. You do not want two of those together. Now... Some of you might get that if you did a custom plates dupe glitch and you didn't use custom plates. Okay, so this is basically what you would do to fix this, all right? We're going to be merging plates, and this is where the solo money glitch method kind of comes into play. So you want to go ahead and have a Martin, Gerald, or Simeon job in your phone, and make sure it's the contact mission. You do not want to be going up to the clouds. So you want to go ahead and hover over the invite to the to the job, walk up to the garage door, and then you want to go ahead and accept the job. Then you should be put on the job screen right here. Now, you want to get ready to back out. So this is what we're going to do. Remember, I have the terabyte, so I got to do this little, you know, you know, weird thing, but I've actually gotten really good at this. It's not even hard. So I'm going to go ahead and hit up, up, X, up, X. Okay, you will need to hear the ticks. Okay, right there, I hit it perfectly, all right? You're not literally hitting up, up, X, up, X, okay? What you're actually doing is you're spamming up until you hear the ticks. You want to hear tick, tick, then hit X, then tick, then hit X, okay? And if done correctly, you should spawn into your garage like this with no mini-map. If you're on an infinite black loading screen, you want to go ahead and use a recent activity and decline the alert, or you can go ahead on Xbox and join a friend in a different targeting mode, accept the first alert and decline the second. All right, but you ba you mainly want to get into your nightclub with no mini map. If you've done this, then you have successfully done the hardest part of the glitch. Okay, so say this was my, you know, dirty dupe right here. Say I had two cars with the same plate and I wanted to clean these cars so that I can go ahead and sell them. Because you don't want to sell dirty dupes, all right? This is why you want to clean them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually grab an RHA and you want this garage to be full so that you can pick where the RHA is actually going to go to. And you see, I'm going to select slot two. This garage is frozen right now. So I'm going to select slot two, which is the car that I'm actually in. Okay. And once I do that, I'm just going to back out of here and I'm just going to actually wait for the vehicle to get delivered. Okay. So you want to sit here patiently and wait for the vehicle to get delivered. Once it has been delivered, you should get a notification, you know, right there in the bottom left. There we go. Now you can actually simply go ahead and drive out. Now look at the plate, 84YDG128. All right, so say I had two cars with that same exact plate and I wanted to clean both of them. I would start off with one and this is how I would do it. Drive it out and there we go. It merged a fresh plate on there. That's a fresh generic plate that doesn't have a copy. And now we just have to go ahead and save this. So you guys know the methods to save. You can either go over to the CEO garage and park it in an empty spot and uh, you have to quickly modify it and then you're good to go. But the method I'm going to use and nice and quick right now is just go ahead and save it in the MOC. Make sure you got the personal vehicle storage. No idea where that car just came from, like through the wall. But uh, yeah, I'm going to press right D-pad and accept the full alert. It's okay if you got something in there. It's not going to ruin the glitch at all. Uh, once I've driven my retro in here, that's it. It's actually clean. So this, if it was a dirty dupe, is clean now. Remember, you can have the same custom plates on cars, but the same generic number plates? No. If you have any of those, those are dirty dupes. Do not sell those. You can clean them with this glitch. Okay? So those are the things to remember. Like I said, clean dirty dupes glitch is very rare. Like, I can't even... I think the last time we had it was when the MOC first came out. 
Okay, so it's been a while since we've actually had one of these glitches. So really cool to actually be able to do one of these again. Now, this same glitch can also bring, you know, the lifeguard blazer. Now, everybody knows we can store the lifeguard blazer, but we can't insure it. There's no way. So if somebody blows it up, we're screwed. But this glitch right here, not only will it merge plates, you know, to clean dirty dupes, but it will merge insurance also. So this is the glitch to use to actually, you know, insure the lifeguard blazer. Now, the probably the hardest part about insuring the lifeguard blazer is actually finding it first. Now... I actually, in this gameplay, you're going to see me, I'm in an invite-only session right here, and you can go ahead and get your Mark II Oppressor or, you know, a bike, a blazer, whatever you want, and you just want to be going up and down the beach right here. Everybody knows where this is. This is where the Ferris wheel is, uh, you know, over there by the pier. So you just want to be going up and down this beach, and you want to be looking towards these first two uh, lifeguard posts, and that is where the lifeguard blazer will spawn. Make sure you're looking during the day, okay? Now, I'll tell you this. For those of you having problems finding it, this is what I did. I searched in like three invite only sessions during the day, never found it, okay? This right here is the gameplay. You saw me just hit find new session. I got into a public session with like six people, okay? Once I got into this public session, sometimes I had better luck, so I just decided to try it that way. And uh, yeah, this is the gameplay right now of me just going back and forth on the beach. You might have to do this a little bit. Uh, some people can get really lucky and find it right away. Uh, I didn't get lucky at first, but this session I did get pretty lucky. I'm not gonna lie All right, just make sure I'd say between the hours of 9 a.m. And 4 p.m. Are probably the best times to go searching for this You're not gonna find it at night. I promise you so if it's nighttime don't even go down up and down the beach All right, because you will not find it whatsoever now Like I said public session. I do recommend I think that it helps spawn stuff because other players have vehicles on the map and that always force spawns, you know, weird things in sessions. So I recommend doing this in a public session. Just go ahead and keep going up and down the beach. And if you get lucky, you will finally see one right here at this lifeguard post or the first one over there. All right. So I have finally found it. Really happy about that. I've done this a few times already on a few accounts, but I'm just going to go into passive mode. Just because, remember, we've always been able to find this and store it, but it's ensuring it. That's the big deal. So right now, I'm just going to drive over to my seat or my uh, nightclub. And something I want to add, driving into the nightclub right now, you want to make sure you're going into an empty spot. All right, that's very important. Make sure you have an empty spot in whichever nightclub garage you're going into. I'm going into B2. I know I have one empty spot in there. All right, you do not want to transfer vehicles. Just drive into an empty spot. Now... Once I'm in here, I'm going to show you right now. If I press down on the D-pad, you're going to see right here. It usually tells you if your car is insured or not. And right here, it says not insured, the Nagasaki uh, Lifeguard Blazer. Okay, so we've always been able to store it right there, but we need to actually insure it. So what do you think we're going to do? We're going to do that solo money glitch method again. So I'm going to bring up my Gerald, Martin, or Simeon job. Remember, if you don't have one sent to you already, you can call them. Either Simeon, Martin, or Gerald, a little bit higher here. Just call either one of them and have them send you a job. It's going to be a contact mission. Those are the ones you want, the ones that don't launch you in the clouds. So hover over that invite and walk up to the garage door. And then you want to go ahead and accept the job invitation. So we're going to do the same thing that we did before. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to back out of this job. And we're going to hear the tick, tick, hit X. And then we're going to hear tick again and hit X. Okay, so I got a few more ticks there than usual. My timing was a little bit off, and I actually ended up failing and just going into another garage. I think I'm in, where am I, B4? Yeah, I ended up in B4, so I'm going to go back into B2 so that I can just retry the glitch, and I actually hit it right here. So sometimes I do fail, but like I said, I've been hitting this pretty good. I hit it first try before, and I'll hit it second try uh, on this attempt right here. So I'm going to bring up the Gerald job, walk up to the garage door, accept the Gerald job from the phone, and once I'm in this job screen, get ready to back out. And we're going to remember, just spam up on the D-pad till you hear tick, tick, hit X, tick, X. And I hit it perfectly right there, all right? Even an, an extra tick there doesn't even matter, all right? Sometimes you will hit it. You just need to hear at least two ticks, hit X, another tick, and hit X. Or that would be A on Xbox, okay? But like you see right there, no mini map at the bottom left. That's exactly what we want. That's how you know you are glitched out. Remember, if you're on an infinite black loading screen, friend in a different targeting mode, except the first alert, decline the second, or a recent activity and decline the alert. 
So we're going to do the same thing that we did for the clean, dirty dupes. So we're going to get into the blazer or get on the blazer and we're going to order an RH8 into the spot that we're in right now. You see right there on the blazer. And the reason we can do this is because the garage is frozen. So it doesn't just get rid of this vehicle. All right. It's in a frozen state, which allows us to kind of glitch it out like this. So wait for it to get delivered. As you can see, I got the notification in the bottom left. Now that I know it's been delivered, I can simply just drive out. Okay. So once you drive out, you're not going to see any sort of plate change because there's no visible plate on the actual, you know, blazer. But trust me, it actually does have a plate on there. So it gets a fresh plate, even though it already had one and it gets insurance. So request your MOC. I don't know about going into the CEO garage. I recommend doing this in the MOC for sure with the personal vehicle storage. Just press right D-pad and drive in there. And it's not enough to just do it once. You want to make sure you do it again. Remember, we're trying to save insurance on here. So it's a little bit different. So you want to go ahead and once you actually drive it in there once, turn around and drive it back in one more time. Okay. So now you should be good. So I'm just going to get back on this and I'll drive it back over to the nightclub garage and actually show you the proof that there is insurance on it. And uh, yeah, this vehicle will be able to be blown up. So say somebody in a session, you know, blows this up, you will be able to call Moore's Mutual and get it back. I think it's only like a hundred bucks or maybe even less. It's pretty cheap actually to get this vehicle back from Moore's. But uh, yeah, guys, that is going to be it for me. All right. You're going to see right here. I'm going to press down on the D-pad and boom, this is insured now. Okay, so two really neat glitches in one right here. I really like these, very unique. And uh, yeah, it's always a pleasure to post these and actually get to do these, all right? So shout out to the founders once again. Links down in the description. My name's Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace.